Daddy write Aries, please. to do like a few signs because I have a reading at five o'clock which is in 30 minutes and then when I finish that reading I'll come back on and finish the rest of the signs but I at least want to get some done now um I have shit to do later on so we are gonna just jump in right now and get started so, oh, damn Ugh. Nosy and finish the rest of your food. So, what messages do you have for Aries? What do Aries need to know? So, what messages do you have for Aries? What do Aries need to know? You like the name Empress or High Priestess? For what? A uh, tarot page? Give me um, two more cards for Aries, Spirit. Two more cards for Aries. Damn. All right, fuck it. I'm going to take all these cards. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, some of y'all may have gotten either y'all ghosted or broke up with another fire sign or, well, it doesn't necessarily have to be a fire sign. Don't get too fixated on the signs. Or they go sit or break up with you. Um, and right now, it's like you're in hermit mode. You're trying to figure some things out. You're trying to do some soul searching to see, is it really worth um, holding on to this connection? Then you have the Six of Pentacles. So it could have been a situation where you felt like this person had more to give to you, but they wasn't. They could have been given to someone else and it could have had something to do with finances. But the thing is with the Six of Pentacles, the universe is about to bless you because the Six of Pentacles is all about generosity. Um, so you are truly about to be blessed. All you got to do is X and the universe will provide or whoever you believe in God, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um... You may, some of you may also read, some of you may also meet a wealthy man or woman. Then you have the temperance card. So temperance card means like, there's a lot of healing that's about to take place. There's a lot of accountability that also is about to come into play. Um, somebody may want to reconcile with you, but the temperance is a slow moving energy and it requires a lot of patience. But nonetheless, you could have somebody new coming in that's going to want a relationship with you. Spirit, tell me about the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Clarify the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here, Spirit? Clarify the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is clarified by the High Priestess in reverse. For a long time, you were dealing with somebody and you just kept ignoring the red flags. You wasn't really listening to your intuition. Um, some of y'all may have been digmatized or whatever. If you're a man, they put that coochie on you. You just wasn't thinking, okay? Um, I don't know why you was ignoring your red, ignoring the red flags. And some of you may still be fucking ignoring the red flags, especially if they ghosted you. you just like, I just want my person back. I just want my person back. Spirit, tell me about the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? And the Knight of Wands is a hoe. I don't, I don't mean no harm. So some of y'all just really dealing with a hoe. Um... Knight of Wands is clarified by the Ace of Cups. So this is the thing. Even though this person probably don't have a faithful bone in their damn body, they really do love you, though. They would love to have a new start with you. They would love to emotionally fulfill you. Now, some of you do have new love coming in, but I feel like before you get entangled into another situation, you really need to do some inner healing. <clears throat> so tell me about the Hermit card. Why is the Hermit card here? Hermit card is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles. Heavy Virgo energy. Some of y'all is dealing with a Virgo. <clears throat> a Virgo, Cancer, Pisces. Um, uh, what is it? A uh, Sagittarius. All water signs. Heavy Sagittarius too. Um, but it's like, you're going to sit back and think like, 
all these months or all these years I've been dealing with this person, because I feel like some of y'all have been dealing with this person at least eight months to a year. It could be more. It doesn't really matter. But it's like, y'all going to be like, they ain't really offering me shit. All this time we've been fooling around, they just been dragging their feet. So y'all got to take this time and ask yourself, like, how long do you plan on waiting around for them to offer you something substantial? Spirit, tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Clarify the Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> Too many cards. It's very clarified the six of pentacles. Why is the six? I'm not taking all those. Oh my god, spirit, give me one card. Clarify the six of pentacles. Thank you. Sun card. Yeah, I'm telling you, y'all gonna do a lot of healing. And then once you start to heal, you got good shit coming in. Sun card is the most positive and happiest card in the deck. Okay. Y'all, you're going to be blessed financially as well. But I really think quite a few of you are going to meet somebody that is going to want to spoil you. Spirit, some of y'all may even get pregnant. Tell me about the temperance card. Why is the temperance card here? Too many cards. Spirit, clarify the temperance card. Clarify. <clears throat> Two of cups. Yeah, y'all have a relationship coming in. And it's going to um, be based on like mutual attraction, mutual respect, mutual love. Two of Cups is like that ideal relationship. Um, Spirit, tell me about this High Priestess in Reverse. Why is the High Priestess in Reverse here? Clarify that. Oop. High Priestess in Reverse is clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. So you have two aces here. Yeah, because aces represent new beginnings. So some of y'all are going to have new love options coming in. Now, yes, granted, whoever this person is that may have ghosted you or y'all broke up with, I don't fucking know. Yes, they're going to come back, you know, and try to get a second chance. But you definitely have new love coming in. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for Aries? Page of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you're dealing with somebody who is either younger than you or just really emotionally immature. Spirit, tell me about the Page of Cups in reverse. Four Swords. Yeah, some of y'all are going into solitude, like I said, to figure some things out. Some of y'all may have had surgery and you're healing from that. Spirit, tell me about the Four of Swords. <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles. You putting yourself first is going to get you this Ten of Pentacles. I'm telling you right now. Ten of Pentacles is when you had the career. I t and I told you the, uh, the universe is about to be generous to you. Ten of Pentacles is when you have the career, the finance, the family, the love, the marriage, the house, the whole shebang. Look, they build in together. They are successful. Look all at those Pentacles. They got the big house, the huge yard. They're happy. Yeah. Like Aries, y'all have good things coming in. Spirit, give me one final message for Aries. Uh, what is oh queen of wands listen <sighs> y'all need to understand who the fuck y'all are and the fact that you're showing up as a queen of wands which is y'all energy fire energy this means like you need to like activate your confidence because you're ready to have options okay you're ready to soar some of y'all could be a single mother um a business owner but people look at you as somebody that's very loyal um, down to earth, spiritual, powerful, ambitious, freaky, like you are somebody's whole package. Okay. Strength card at the bottom of the deck. You're going to find the strength to figure, figure out whatever the hell it is that you're currently going through. Um, thank you, Sarah, for buying a badge. I really appreciate you. All right. That's what I have for you, Aries. Can somebody write, uh, who's next? Taurus. <clears throat> oh, shit. Y'all, please don't let me go over 5 o'clock. I have to get off here by 5 o'clock, but I promise I'm coming right back on. Thank you, Patricia.
doing good, B. Thanks for asking. <coughs> hey, Nera. Sir, what messages do you have for Taurus? What do Taurus need to know? What messages do you have for... Give me three more cards for Taurus. What do Taurus need to know? Spirit, what messages do you have for Taurus? Two more cards. What messages do you have for Taurus, Spirit? <clears throat> One more card for Taurus. Give me all these cards. Okay, what is going on? Um, some of you may have ended a friendship with someone. Maybe your friend was being shady. I don't know. Y'all had to cut a bitch off. I don't know. Okay, I feel like some of y'all ended a friendship with somebody. If that's not the case, then um, I feel like if, if it's about love, you're not with this person currently. And for some of you, you may reconsider reconciling with this person. But I promise you, when you do, you're going to realize exactly why y'all ended in the first place. I feel like if you reconcile with them, it may be a waste of time. Um, you got the Knight of Swords, so they're definitely coming back. But I feel like uh, y'all probably going to get to arguing about something. Um, boo, are we going to MGM this weekend? MGM? In D.C.? What's at the MGM? What you talking about, girl? Um, and then you have the Knight of Cups. So, yeah, I feel like they're going to come in, give you some love offer. But the thing is, Knight of Cups can be very fickle. It's, they'll come in, they'll love bomb you. But as fast as they come in, as fast as they ask me, lead back out. Um, then you have the Page of Cups. So, Page of Cups means, yeah, they're going to send you a message. But once again, Page of Cups is very immature. Page of Cups doesn't have much to offer. Yes, do this person love you? I truly believe this person love you. But I don't feel like they have much to offer you. For some of you with the Six of Pentacles here, they may come with the gift. They may. Or, like I was just saying to Aries, you may feel like um, they have more to give and they just don't give it. Spirit, tell me about the Three of Cups in reverse. Why is the Three of Cups? Two of Wands. Yeah, you. I feel like some of y'all are struggling to make a decision about reconciling with someone, whether that's a friend or a lover. Or just walking away and, you know, just starting something new somewhere else. Some of y'all may also be ready to travel. Spirit, tell me about the Knight of Swords. High Priestess. Yeah, it's telling you to use your intuition when it comes to this. Because I feel like most of you, because looking at this card, it looks like she has a wedding dress on, but she's at the altar by herself. So I feel like most of you want to be married. Like, you know what you want. And... At the end of the day, whether you're going to admit it to yourself or not, you know this person can't give you this. You know this person is probably not fucking marriage material. So it's like, why do you keep holding on to them? <clears throat> Spirit, tell me about the Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Clarify the Knight of Cups. Some of y'all actually have two people. Or some of y'all may be messing with two people as well that you got to choose from. Or even three. Spirit, tell me about the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is clarified by the Judgment in Reverse and the um, Knight of Pentacles in Reverse. So here's the thing. Because um, I be in denial. I'm over, I'm over all that shit now. Mm -hmm. um, somebody wants your forgiveness. They feel like you're judging them, which you probably have every right to fucking judge them. And with this Knight of Pentacles in reverse, if you feel like they were dragging their feet, they're saying, okay, I don't want to drag my feet anymore. Like, I, I want your forgiveness. But it's like, what are you offering? Spirit, tell me about the Page of Cups. Why is the Page of Cups here? Page of Cups is clarified by the Tower in reverse and the Four of Wands in reverse. They don't want this to end. They're doing everything they can to resist y'all from, like, literally leaving them. Pulling back your energy physically, emotionally, mentally. Spirit, tell me about the Six of Pentacles in reverse. 
And if you live with this person, y'all not even happy in that home together. Yeah, look, six of pentacles to the death card. Let it go. It's not, I'm telling you, this person is not going to be worth your time if you take them back. Spirit, tell me about the death card. Why is the death card here? Four swords, let it go and heal from it. Period. Spirit, tell me about the high priestess. Some of y'all are dealing with a, um, Aries. Tell me about the high priestess. Clarify the high priestess. Spirit, clarify the high priestess. Devil card. Yeah, you know that this person is toxic. You know that this person be fucking around. So it's like, listen to your fucking intuition. You're not getting a different result from them. I don't give a fuck what they come back and tell you. I don't give a fuck if they told you they went to therapy. Bitch, how long? One one session? Or you just claim you made the appointment? Or you just researched it? Like, they're not going to change. So what is the final likely outcome for Taurus? What is the final likely outcome for Taurus? Spirit, what is the final? Temperance, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Listen, like I said, many of you want marriage. You know what you want. In order to get it, you need to let them go, heal, and be very selective about who you let in your energy and who is the next person you're going to decide to date. Because you're going to get this Ten of Cups. Okay, you're going to have your happily ever after. You're going to be you're going to be with somebody who recognize and understand your worth and value you. Okay, you ain't even going to have to question how this person feel about you. Look at this fucking love right here. Some of y'all going to have two daughters or maybe they have a daughter. You have a daughter. I don't know. But look at this love. This is in the future for you. You just got to cut this fucking person off. <laughs> don't let them rob you of your happiness. Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Look how this like gate is in front of her. Some of y'all just feel trapped. But you're all in your head. You're trapping your damn self because you could leave them alone if you want to. Um, but that's what I have for y'all, Taurus. Some of y'all are dealing with a cancer, um, water sign, or air, basically every fucking sign is here. It's 444. Yeah, that's confirmation of this reading, y'all. All right, somebody write Gemini. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Lady Joe. Thank you for providing a badge. I really appreciate it. crushing on you okay you have the page of cups the sun card which i already know is the most positive happiest card in the deck the six of cups seven of ones and three of cups okay boom there is somebody that's crushing on y'all they see you as their sunshine like it is what it is they can see themselves being with you for some of you this is 
like somebody you could have dated during childhood. This, it could be somebody that you dated in like a past life, like you had a past life connection with them. Um, this could be somebody you have children with. Doesn't necessarily have to be, but either way, I feel like whoever this person is, is definitely giving soulmate vibes, okay? Um, now, for some of you, you may have blocked this person, but with this three of cups here, it's like they want the lines of communication to open up. They're actually hoping, hoping to run into you somewhere. They're hoping to um, reunite with you like real bad. <laughs> um, for others of you that did not block this person and y'all are not going through anything, then y'all need to protect y'all. Okay, first of all, wait. Y'all have got to stop putting y'all friends in y'all relationship business, okay? Whatever goes on between you and your person, keep your friends out of your business, okay? Because I feel like they're causing problems in your relationship. And stop taking advice from, from some of your friends. I ain't say you got you can't take advice from any of them, but some of them, like, if you know your friend is in a relationship and they man cheat on them every other fucking day, why would you take relationship advice from her? You feel me? Like, y'all got to keep people out of your relationships, okay? Some of you may have to protect your relationship against third parties because that could have been an issue. Maybe, like, you found out your person cheated on you. Now, for those of you that this is a new love, it's just like, okay, y'all kind of scared to open up your heart. It's like you got your wall up. But you may run into this person while you're out having fun, socializing with your friends, partying, or at some sort of event. But it's like you're coming off so cold. Let your fucking guard down. Spirit, tell me about the page of cups. Why is the page of cups here? Clarify the page of cups. Strength card. Hmm. Tell me about the strength card. Knight of Pentacles, page. Yeah, it's like, okay. Somebody is trying to get through to you. Like, when you meet this new lover, they're like, listen. Why are you ringing the doorbell? Um. What I was ready to say, shit. Um, so, yeah, when you meet this new person, it's going to be like, listen. I don't know what happened in your past, but... I'm willing to take it slow, but I know you are who I want, okay? Um, if this is somebody that you're already dating, they're going to find the strength to make shit work between the two of you because they look at you as marriage material. Yeah, granted, they're a little slow with taking things to the next level, but they know a good thing when they see one. Spirit, tell me about this sun card. Why is the sun card here? Spirit, clarify the sun card. Why is the sun card here? King of Pentacles. Let me find out God sending y'all rich men or rich women. Okay? I love that for y'all. This is going to be somebody who is a workaholic. He's very generous. Um, loves to provide. Um, would settle down. Spirit, tell me about this King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this is going to be somebody that wants to build with y'all. If this is somebody from your past, then they want to rebuild and like, okay, let's take it slow. Let's get to know each other all over again. For some of you, this could be somebody you work with. Spirit, tell me about the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? Clarify the Six of Cups. in reverse yes yeah, some for some of y'all this is somebody from your past because they feel like it's unfinished business they're not they feel like y'all not done like this relationship is not over give them another chance we're talking about the ten of swords in reverse clarify that ten of wands you need them to release some sort of baggage before you decide to give them another chance tell me about the three of cups why is the Three of Cups here? Three of Cups is clarified by the Five of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and a Judgment card. So 
yeah, y'all, okay, if this is somebody from your past, y'all went through some shit with this person. Like, maybe they cheated on you. Maybe they chose somebody else over you. I don't know. But they broke your heart. You was crying, crying your little eyes out, okay? Um, and then y'all started healing. Y'all started working on yourself. But they could have also been holding back from y'all as well, though. But with this judgment card here, it's like, um, yeah, I want to come back and I need you to give me another chance. <laughs> like, I know I fucked up, but just give me another chance. Tell me about this Five of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and a Judgment card. Emperor. Yeah, they want to do right. Because I feel like you made them feel whole. You brought stability to their life, whether they would admit that or not. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for Gemini's? Final likely outcome for Gemini's. King of Wands. You know, I always say King of Wands is a good man, Savannah. Okay, some of y'all got two people. Ooh, you know what? Remember I was saying, it's somebody from your past and y'all also got a new person. So you got the King of Pentacles, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and then you got the King of Wands, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So tell me about the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? Queen of Wands and the Two of Swords. Yes, I'm telling y'all, y'all got two people to choose from. One of these people going to be your divine counterpart. And you got a difficult decision to make. Y'all have two people to choose from. And these are both great men. Or women. Sorry, reverse the roles if you need to. Spirit, tell me about the two of swords. Why is the two of swords here? Queen of swords. Y'all got to make a difficult decision. It's a difficult decision. <laughs> Y'all gonna have to make a difficult decision and stand on business because y'all cannot date both of them. Even though they're both great options. Tell me about the tower. Mm, yeah, that's ready to be a certain shake up. Thank you, Inez. Tell me about the tower card. Nine of swords in reverse, hangman in reverse, and the two of cups. Y'all not stuck. Y'all not confused. You letting go worry, you letting go anxiety, because at the end of the day, you know you want to be in a relationship. You want to settle down. So some of y'all going to be like, well, guess what? Let the best person win. I don't give a fuck. Like, that's, that's on you to prove yourself to me. I'm no longer proving myself to anyone. I know my worth. I'm showing up as the fucking queen of wands. I know my worth. And you got the shrimp car here. So y'all have two amazing options to choose from. Um, so yeah, that's what I have for y'all. Who's that, Gemini? a good reading all right y'all i'll be right back on give me like 20 30 minutes i just gotta do a reading and then i'll be right back to finish the rest of the signs kiss me which one is it Lord, y'all. I need to hurry up. 
cup. How them roses holding up? Did they bloom? I guess. All right. Spirit, what messages do you have for cancers? I flew right out. Damn, y'all came out and y'all reading. Spirit, give me three more cards for cancers. Three more cards. What do cancers need to know? Three more cards. What do cancers need to know? Three more cards. Two more cards with your cancers need to know. One more card with your cancers need to know. Hmm. What the? Okay, this makes no sense. Um, let me think. Okay. All right, bet. So, cancer. Y'all are showing up in your own reading as the Queen of Cups. Y'all are at the point in your life where you're starting to put yourself first, okay? You're not overgiving anymore. You're not pouring more into somebody. Um, you want to be on the receiving end at this point in your life, okay? Um, and with the sun in reverse, it's just like you tired of dealing with disappointment. You're tired of relationships that do not last. <laughs> Okay, you're tired of being unhappy and accepting the bare minimum. Um, like, you're not going for that anymore. Some of you may decide to even terminate a pregnancy because you're like, this is not who I want to have children with. I don't want to be in this relationship. And you're not even sad about it. Even if the person broke up with you, it's like, you're not, I don't feel like y'all are really sad about it anymore. It's like, okay, it is what it is. Like, what the fuck are you offering me anyways? Because at the end of the day, it's like, you know you want this Ten of Pentacles with somebody. And you're not settling for less because you're going to get that Ten of Pentacles. Some of y'all might get y'all boobs done. Because look at this girl. Them things is sitting, child. Mm -hmm. Spirit, tell me about the Queen of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Clarify the Queen of Cups. Two of Swords. Hmm. There is a difficult decision that needs to be made. Let me see. There's something about this decision that needs to be made. Why is the Two of Swords here? Three of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, somebody has to choose between two people, whether that's you or that's this or another person. Um. Or maybe you're going to make a decision to remove yourself from a third party situation. Some of you could be dealing with somebody that you work with. Spirit, tell me about the sun in reverse. Why is the sun in reverse here? Spirit, clarify the sun in reverse. Clarify the sun in reverse. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, y'all are done dealing with people who you know can give you more, but they won't. You are done dealing with people um, breadcrumbing you. Like, you're not going for that anymore. You standing your ground. <laughs> Spirit, tell me about the Two of Cups in reverse. Tell me about the Two of Cups in reverse. The Moon and the Five of Swords. Yeah, it's like somebody can't hide who they are from you anymore. It's like you're starting to see somebody true colors and you realize that they're a piece of shit. You realize that all they do is fucking sabotage like their, the relationship, the friendship. And you just like, oh, no, I'm done. Like, I'm, I'm fucking done. Like, mm -mm. watch me from afar. Like, I'm done. <sighs> Spirit, tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? But I tell you, four wands and the um, empress, you're going to get that commitment. You're going to get that ideal relationship, that dream partner. You're, you're going to have that. Do not give up hope. Do not give up on love because four wands and the empress, y'all going to get married. Y'all going to have a baby. Look, she's pregnant in here. They just got married. Some of y'all going to get married in Jamaica. Mark my words. <gasps> 
Y'all need to text Sheree. She's Jamaican and she has cancer. Oh my God, this is my bitch reading. I'm going to claim this for her even though she's not on here. And let her know that I claimed this for her, y'all. Um, who we going to Jamaica? Anywho. Mm-hmm. Spirit, tell me about the Six of Pentacles. No, for real, look. Tell me these not Jamaica colors. Some, and I be knowing, somebody getting married in Jamaica. Some of y'all might marry an African. Watch, mark my words. Spirit, tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Clarify the Six of Pentacles. You live in Jamaica? Clarify the Six of Pentacles. Nine of Cups. Y'all gonna wish fulfillment, I'm telling you. The moment y'all start putting yourself first and understanding your worth, child, listen. You ready to, like, you're gonna feel fulfilled. You're gonna feel complete, whole, love, happy. Y'all got good shit coming to y'all. Pay attention to y'all dreams. Tell me about the Moon card and the Five of Swords. Tell me about the Moon card and the Five of Swords. Page of Swords and the Two of Wands. Somebody is keeping tabs on y'all. Um, somebody needs to make a decision between you and somebody else. But I feel like y'all at the point, like, don't choose me. Because you're not my person. Please do not fucking choose me. I don't even want you no more. Don't fucking choose me. Spirit, tell me about the Four of Wands and the Empress. Tell me about the four of wands and the empress. Why is the four of wands and the empress here? Five of pentacles in reverse. If y'all were going through any type of financial hardship, you're coming up out of that. You're coming up out of that. Five of pentacles in reverse. Somebody also is going to try, like I said, to get back with you. But I think y'all going to move more towards new love. Tell me about this five of pentacles in reverse. Why is the Five of Pentacles in reverse here? Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Oh. Seven of Cups in reverse. This person going, <clears throat> this person going to say they not confused anymore. They know what they want. They don't want to weigh the option. But that's only because now you're standing up to their ass. Now you are putting yourself first and pouring so much love to to uh, pouring so much love into yourself. Why am I losing my voice? <clears throat> Pouring so much love into yourself and not into them. And now they don't know what the fuck to do. So now they know they gotta step their game up. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for cancers? Final likely outcome. Why am I here? Oh, sometimes you gotta pop out and show niggas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look, Emperor in reverse. Somebody feel like they don't have control over the situation anymore. They not used to this new you. Spirit, tell me about the Emperor in reverse. Why is the Emperor in reverse here? Not a one, but they're not going to give up, though. They're going to keep trying. <laughs> Spirit, tell me about the nine of ones. And you know what? You need to make them fight for you. Like, make them fucking earn you. Tell me about the nine of ones. Ten of ones in reverse and the King of Cups in reverse. Child, this person is not letting y'all go. They may even be drinking over you, sad over you, especially especially if you giving them the cold shoulder. Spirit, tell me about the Ten of Wands in reverse and the King of Cups in reverse. Seven of Swords. But y'all don't even trust them. Like, you feel like they lie like a rug. Like, you don't trust them. You're so used to them being sneaky and deceptive. You're so used to them lying about dumb shit. You're so used to them cheating. Spirit, give me one final message for Cancer. Uh, Ace of Swords, they want to have a serious conversation with you. They're going to say, come on, let's have this conversation. Let's put it all out on the table. Let's figure it out. Um, and you will gain some sort of clarity. Spirit, this reading sounds so fucking familiar. Spirit, tell me about the Ace of Swords. Where's your reading? Ace of Cups in reverse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like when y'all have that conversation with this Ace of Cups in reverse, y'all may decide y'all really don't want to be with them. 
So there's something about the Ace of Cups in reverse. Why is the Ace of Cups in reverse here? Nine of Pentacles. Y'all want to stay single and weigh your options. With this Nine of Pentacles, many of you are having a physical glow up. Either y'all getting surgery, y'all in a gym, you losing weight, you changing up your hair. I don't know what the fuck y'all doing, but y'all just going to be looking better than ever. And now, like I said, y'all are starting to really understand your worth and respect yourself and protect your heart. You know you can get something better. So it doesn't matter if this fucking person cry a fucking river in front of you. I don't think y'all care. Three of Swords, they're going to be heartbroken because, hello, this is the new me, bitch. Should have did right when you had me. Um, ooh, I'm hearing the way that I love you. The Shanti song. Yeah, whatever. Okay, that's what I have for you, Cancers. Um, somebody write Leo. Why would Libra be after Leo if we're doing it in order? Make that make sense. Please don't piss me off. We sure can't pin it if you write it. I ain't writing it. Capricorn and Capricorn is not the first or the last sign. Now you now you now 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 you just asking anything, girl. Now you just talking because you got lips. the year and in the year yeah but in the like when you read in the zodiac that's not how it um how it go well welcome 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 all right let's get started what messages do you have for Leos? What do Leos need to know? What messages do you have for Leos? What do Leos need to know? Give me three more cards for Leos. Two more cards for Leos. Two more cards for Leos. One more card for Leos. What? didn't spray girl we got the blood of jesus covering this reading we'll be okay um thank you patty cake for buying a badge i really appreciate you what is this trying to say um okay you are tired of toxicity you are tired of being in toxic situations um, you don't want to feel bound to any fucking body, but thank you, Brie, for buying a badge. I really appreciate you. Um, but at the same time, it's like, I feel like somebody is also saying like, yo, I don't want to be toxic anymore. I, you know, I, okay. And if you, okay, shit, let me get my thoughts together. Cause I got, child, I feel like they giving me so many messages at once and I'm trying to keep up. Um, okay. Listen, if. For some of you, and this is not going to be everybody's story, I hope this is not going to be a real specific reading because I don't got time for that shit. But anywho, um, if you were dealing with somebody that was dealing with someone else, right? They had you in a third-party situation. I feel like they don't feel bound to that person anymore. I honestly feel like they left that person. That person left them because you got the death card at the bottom of the deck. So something ended. So it's like they're telling you, thank you, Deja, for buying a badge. I really appreciate you. So it's like they're telling you, like, I'm not bound to that person anymore. Thank you, Brie, for buying a bag. Oh, y'all like me today. Um, 
Oh, some of y'all might get an old man with um, white, gray hair. Because this man got white hair and it's so gorgeous. And he has this beautiful tan. Mm, I love that for y'all. Anywho, um, yeah, so they may tell you, like, I'm, I'm not stuck with that person. I don't feel bound for them no more. Like, that shit ended. But with the temperance card, they're asking you to, like, pretty much just be patient. Be patient because I, I got to heal. Like, maybe they've been with that person for some time. I don't know. But they got to heal their heart. And they don't want to come to you on some bullshit. Because I feel like they do respect you. But at the same time, with this justice in reverse, you feel like they lack accountability for shit. Like, it just doesn't work that easy. Like, oh, so you, you left old boy alone or you, you left that bitch alone. No, like, what the fuck are you saying? Like, do you do you realize what you did? Um, Not any update on Al. Y'all are crazy. And y'all want to start this conversation, but ain't nobody had my back when they was going in on me on fucking YouTube, bitches. Anywho, and then you add the two of cups. So there is somebody who genuinely loves you. Like whoever this person is, like really fucking loves you. They feel like um, nobody gets them like you do. Like you really understand them. Like they could be themselves around you. And I feel like you probably feel the same way about them as well. Um, and some of you, like if that's not your story... Some of you may need to heal from something. I don't know what it is because it's like, I feel like you love so hard that you just tend to give people the benefit of the doubt that doesn't deserve it, especially just getting to know them. And that's something you have to be careful with, okay? Um, because if you're wondering like, okay, well, why are these relationships not lasting? It's because you're too trusting of people, okay? Okay. Spirit, tell me about the devil in reverse. Why is the devil in reverse here? <laughs> devil in reverse is clarified by the queen of cups in reverse. Yes, yeah, somebody is detaching from like a baby mother who is very emotionally manipulative or use like the kids against them or was using the kids against them. They're detaching from that. Um, for others of you, if that's not your story, then... I just feel like y'all are like getting to the point basically what I told cancer. Like you're going to stop pouring so much love into people that don't deserve it. Like that, that shit is dead. That is dead because all that does is create an unhealthy codependency. Spirit, tell me about the temperance card. Why is the temperance card here? Ace of Wands, y'all got any love coming in. Leo, did y'all hear me? Y'all got new love coming in. And this is going to be somebody that is working on themselves. That is healed. That wants a relationship. That wants to settle down. It's They're going to provide you with like a lot of balance, harmony, peace, great sex. It's actually going to be fun too. This is going to be a fun connection. Spirit, tell me about the justice in reverse. Why is the justice in reverse here? Strength card. Yeah, y'all going to find the strength to... Cut off what no longer serves you. You're, you're not dealing with nobody that lacks accountability. You're not dealing with anybody that does not treat you right. Like, you're done with that. You're finding the shrimps to put yourself first. We always have new love coming in. We move on faster than Mexican music. Well, I don't know nothing about Mexican music, but you all right about that. One thing about the Leo, baby. <laughs> we'll find somebody real fast. Like, it takes, like, literally seconds. Spirit, tell me about the two of cups. Why is the two of cups here? That's why if you get a Leo, you better keep a Leo. Empress, oh my God, bitch. Didn't I tell you all the other day? Y'all are getting married. Y'all are really getting married. I'm not playing. Y'all are getting... And some of y'all might get pregnant. Look, she pregnant on this card. Listen. This is... This is this type of shit that I make a... A bitch jealous this type of love okay and whoever this person is is going to put you on a fucking pedestal they gonna think the world of you you're the empress it's nothing higher than an empress okay and that's how they see you they see you as very abundant loving caring nurturing if you are a parent they feel like you will be a great parent or if not um I mean, they feel like you are a great parent. And if not, they feel like you would be one once they get you pregnant or you knock them up, whatever. 
Spirit, tell me about the Queen of Cups in reverse. Why is the Queen of Cups in reverse here? You've been saying this for like a month somewhere on with it. Yep. Tell me about the Queen of Cups in reverse. It's going to come to fruition. Star in reverse and the chariot in reverse. Yeah, so for this past person, you like, no. I don't want to move forward with this. Like, I've lost all hope in this relationship. Like, you took too fucking long. You took too fucking long. Don't don't come towards me. Like, let's just leave the past in the past. Like, I'm, I'm done. I don't have any more hope for us. I don't want to make this work anymore. Spirit, tell me about the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Ace of Wands is clarified by the Hermit in reverse. So if y'all were like kind of going through it, not really trying to date, y'all coming up out of that. Y'all already rejoined the world again, and y'all gonna give this new person a chance. Spirit, tell me about the strength card. Why is the strength card here? Three of Cups. Love, happiness. Um, some of y'all might reunite with one of your friends if y'all had a fallen out or something. But nonetheless... Like you and this new person is going to build one hell of a friendship with each other first with this three of cups here. Um, but I can say this, this past person is hoping to run into you somewhere. And more than likely it's going to be when you out with your friends. That's where they're hoping to run into you at. <sighs> Jeez Louise. Spirit, tell me about the Empress. Why is the Empress here? But also, y'all have good fortune and success coming in. Some of y'all may be ready to create something too. Like, you've already been in your creative bag. Spirit, tell me about the Empress. Bitch, y'all not gonna believe this. So on the, okay, you got the two of cups clarified by the empress, clarified by the ten of cups. What did I tell y'all? Y'all gonna be in a relationship that's going to lead to marriage. Hi, go. First come marriage. Wait, K-I-S-S-I-N-G. First come love, then come marriage, then come the baby in the baby carriage. Look at them two little girls. Some of y'all might have twin. Bitch, these are twins. Some of y'all gonna have twins. Watch, some of y'all gonna get pregnant with twins. Mark my word. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for Leo's? Page of ones in reverse. That past person gonna come back and try to sleep with you. Do not sleep with them. Spirit is telling you, do not fuck them. Okay? Don't do it. Don't do it. Spirit, tell me about the page of wands in reverse. Don't say bye to me, bitch. I'm just the messenger. All you got to do is keep your legs closed or make that man wear a condom, okay? Something y'all don't know nothing about. Spirit, tell me about the page of wands in reverse. Why is it? Ace of cups. Yeah, don't sleep with them because you have new love coming in. You have a solid love offer coming in. But I also feel like the past person is like, listen, please don't make no hasty decisions. Like, all right, I know it's been a rough road between us, but please don't make no hasty decisions. Like, let me try to make this right. Like, and they may even tell you, like, I don't even want to sleep with you. I want to show you how serious I am. Like, we don't even got to fuck. Like, I just want to hold you. Like, I, I don't I don't want to fuck you. Like, I want to show you how serious I am about you. Spirit, tell me about the Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Clarify the Ace of Cups. Eight of Cups, I think y'all really gonna walk away from them. I don't think y'all want this past person. Spirit, tell me about the Eight of Cups. Six of Cups in reverse. I'm telling you, like I said with the first storyline, they're going to tell you, like, listen, I promise you, I'm done. Like, I left my baby mother. Like, I need you in my life. I don't know. So, give me one final message for Leo's. Oh, my God. So, give me one final message for Leo's. Judgment in reverse. They want your forgiveness. And the lovers in reverse. They letting somebody go. And then you have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of that. Y'all have new beginnings coming in. Y'all gonna have to make a decision. That's all I can say. Y'all gonna have to make a decision. Okay? Some of y'all could be dealing with a 
Sagittarius, a Capricorn, a Gemini, um, another fire sign, Cancer, Pisces, Virgo, Aquarius, all water signs are here. Leo. Okay, somebody write Virgo. You're welcome. person is Leo. Great choice. what good stuff is coming in for the remaining of the lot. I'm going to do either one of those. I meant to do it today, but I forgot. I need to get my color touched up. All right, Virgos. Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgos? What do Virgos need to know? Give me three more cards for Virgos. One more card for Virgos. When I buy my decks online, I typically order them off Amazon, but for the most part, I go to the store and get most of my decks, though. Um. Right now, y'all are sad and depressed about something. Some of y'all could be mourning the loss of a loved one. If so, my condolences. Some of y'all may be going through a divorce, a separation, a breakup, something. Some of you could have found out somebody cheated on y'all. But, yeah, I feel like y'all are really sad right now. Um, three of Wands is something that you're manifesting. It's like you're manifesting a new start. Whatever that looks like to you, it's like you're right here. You're trying to get to that door all the way at the end of the road. But if you see, it's nothing blocking your path to get there. So the three of ones, that basically represents like confirmation. Yes, it means whatever you're manifesting is coming in, but you got to be patient. But here's the thing. When you ask God for whatever this new thing is, there's no turning back. Because you see how this road is blocked. She can't turn back. So that means let go of your past. It's nothing back there for you anymore. That that's done. It's, it's nothing there. That that door, that road is closed. Continue going forward. Because at the end of the day, with this five of swords, this person plays a lot of games. They sabotage. Just maybe all y'all do is argue. I, I don't know. It's just like a lot of conflict, and you don't trust them, or maybe they cheat a lot. And then with the chariot card, it's like it's so many blockages, and that's what I mean. Like. God is blocking that past for you. So you may be sad right now because you see she's crying, but it's actually a blessing in disguise. So don't be sad about it. Something good is going to come out of this. Spirit, tell me about the Five of Cups. What? Five of Cups is clarified by the Two of Swords in reverse. Yeah, you're going to get to the point where you're not indecisive about what you want anymore. You know what you want. It's time for you to go after what you want. Go ahead, take that road unknown, because it's going to lead you to a beautiful destiny. Spirit, tell me about the three of wands. Why is the three of wands here? Spirit. Ten of wands. Yeah, it's time for you to release baggage. It's time for you to let any type of burdens go. It's time for you to release what no longer serves you. <laughs> And that doesn't mean you're giving up. That means you're choosing you. That means you're choosing a happier path, a more peaceful one. 
Spirit, tell me about the Five of Swords. Eight of Cups, yes. Look, walking away from something that you once loved and once was passionate about. It's time. Like, why let somebody keep stabbing you in the back? Why let somebody keep making you bleed? Why allow somebody keep breaking your heart? Like, why would you want to keep crying? You deserve to smile, not fucking cry. Ain't nobody worth that. Nobody is worth your peace of mind at all. And you need to remember that. Oh, my back and neck hurt. Spirit, tell me about that chariot in reverse. Why is the chariot in reverse here? Tell me about that chariot in reverse. Queen of Pentacles, y'all energy. Y'all need to know who the fuck y'all are. Like, you a boss-ass bitch or a boss-ass man. Like, stop playing, okay? Why am I hearing? This is so trifling or so ghetto. Get it sexy. Get it sexy. Get it sexy. Yes. Your confidence should be, like, off the chart right now. Your money gonna do good. Your career gonna do good. Like, don't. Be, don't worry about shit that you can't control because everything happens for a reason. Some of y'all may have car trouble, but then y'all might end up just buying a new car, which is going to be better than the last one. Spirit, tell me about the two of swords in reverse. Why is the two of swords? Four of swords in reverse. Um, Yeah, y'all going to rejoin the dating world again. Like, y'all not going to sit around sad and depressed. Like, who the fuck got time for that? Spirit, tell me about the Ten of Wands. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Justice. If somebody did you wrong, they're going to receive so much karma. Because you got some... There's one of your ancestors who is really protecting you, whether you know it or not. Look at this little devilish grin. Like, yeah, I got you. You ain't even got to worry. I got you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Stop crying. It, you, let it go. Stop crying. You're divinely protected. Spirit, tell me, look, and then you see how she's blindfolded? So it's like your ancestors is like, trust me. Trust that I got you. Trust that I'm protecting you. Trust me that I'm going to lead you to that door back here. Turn around and walk. Like, that's all y'all got to do. Stop trying to go towards the past. Spirit, tell me about the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Clarify the Eight of Cups. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, it's like, it's no point of investing in this. It's no point of putting effort into this because it's really just a waste of time at this point. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Page of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you're dealing with somebody who's emotionally immature. They could be younger than you. Doesn't necessarily have to be. But this person has nothing to offer you. They're holding you back from your greatness. They're holding you back from true love. They're holding, they even holding your career back because you got the Queen of Pentacles to the Page of Cups in reverse. It's like they're a karmic partner. And when you leave this person, trust me when I tell you, you are going to blossom in so many different areas of your life. Like, I'm so serious. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for Virgos? Look, Three of Swords in reverse and the Seven of Cups. So listen, Three of Swords in reverse, you're coming out of depression. You're going to get over that heartbreak. Seven of Cups. You're ready to have so many opportunities in career and love. And I literally just fucking said that before this card popped out. When you leave that person, you're going to blast. Your, like, your career is going to blossom. Your, your finances, your love life. Like, you're going to have, like, it's like the pick of the litter. Any, mini, mini, any, mini, 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 mini. That, that's how it's going to be for you. Okay? Spirit, tell me about the Three of Swords in Reverse and the Seven of Cups in the Upright. Tell me about the Three of Swords in Reverse and the Seven of Cups in the Upright. Ace of Cups. Told you. You got new love coming in. And it's the love that you deserve. Like, stop settling for less than what you deserve. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, like, if y'all juggling, stop. But then again, you may have two options to choose from. I don't know. Well, actually, you might have multiple options to choose from with this Seven of Cups. But it's going to come to a point where you're going to have to make a decision. Spirit, tell me about the Two of Pentacles. 
Ace of Wands in reverse. Let me see something. Talk about this Ace of Wands in reverse. Hermit in reverse. That's your energy. Y'all coming out. Okay, so here's the thing. For some of you, there is somebody else from your past with this Ace of Wands in reverse that you may give a chance to. Somebody that maybe you let go a long time ago and maybe y'all gonna find your way back to each other. And it's like, maybe at the same time, both of y'all are coming out of hermit mode and y'all gonna be back up. But also, it's like, and if that's not your story, when you do meet somebody and you don't be so quick to sleep with them. Spirit, tell me about the hermit in reverse. What? Knight of Cups. Yes, y'all have a love offer coming in. Spirit, give me one final message for Virgo. One final message for Virgo. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Higher fan. Yeah, don't settle. Like, okay, while you're navigating through this dating world, if the moment somebody tells you, I'm not looking for nothing serious, and you know that you want this higher fan, you want to deeper commitment, let it go. Don't think that you can change somebody or convince them to wanting something different. Don't think that you can fuck them and make them fall in love with you because no, baby, when they tell you what they do or do not want, that's what they mean. You can't change a person, okay? It's, it's, it's not gonna happen. So actively date, you don't have to just meet one person and just lock in right away. No, date, weigh your options because you're going to get this higher fit. You're going to get that commitment that you've been seeking. You're going to find somebody that's going to invest in you. What the fuck is that? Um, anywho, that's what I have for you, Virgo. Somebody write Libra. That was a little deep. That reading was a little deep, y'all. Readings do be deep this whole fucking year. <sighs> or Earth Science, period. It's like y'all been going through it this year. It's kind of weird. But I think this year for Earth Science is like a transformative year. It's all about shedding things that just do not serve you. the theme of the year for you. <laughs> okay. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libras? What do Libras need to know? Give me three more cards for Libras. Two more cards for Libras. Two more cards for Libras. One more card for Libra. Okay. Oh, Lord. Um, Libras. So, y'all have, like, I don't know, some difficult decision y'all got to make. I don't know what the decision is about. But with this... Hmm. Hold on. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Clarify the Knight of Wands. Clarify. Okay. Listen. I know. The, okay. Y'all need to make a decision and let something go. Spirit is telling you it's time to let something or someone go. And this is someone who you feel like is very fun, spontaneous, 
Um, like they're just, I don't know. It's probably great sex, great looking, but it's time to end it. It's, it's time to end it. Um, Seven of Pentacles, it's like, you want to keep investing in this. You want them to keep investing in it. But with the Wheel of Fortune here, it's like, right now, y'all can't be together. I mean, possibly, maybe, maybe down the line, I don't know. I'm going to clarify, because the Wheel of Fortune means, like, patience, divine timing. Um, but I feel like, let me see. Because this is your energy. Yeah, so it's like, y'all just feel like, okay, I'm going to just leave it up to God. Like, I know this is my soulmate, but... I don't think it is because they showing up as a knight of wands. Spirit, tell me about the two of swords. What? Queen of cups. Yeah, y'all need to focus on yourself. Y'all need to start pouring more love into yourself and stop trying to worry about having something with this person right now. Like, stop doing it. Your spirit team is telling you to end it. It's, it's time to end it. <laughs> Spirit, tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Clarify the Seven of Pentacles. Strength card. Yeah, I feel like many of you are going to find the strength to put yourself first and walk away. Spirit, tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Oh, shit. Hold up. Spirit, tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Six of Cups in reverse. Yeah, I feel like with this situation... Hold up before I say something. Tell me about the Six of Cups in reverse. Here's the Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, I feel like with this situation, this was like a false soulmate a false twin flame like you may have thought this was your soulmate but it's not i don't i feel like it's something better for you spirit tell me about the queen of cups what three of swords yeah you may be heartbroken over something it could be like somebody's words actions or intentions broke your heart or somebody could have had you in a third party um but that's okay we all go through a broken heart you just gotta heal from it spirit tell me about the death card why is the death card here Clarify the death card. Four of wands. Why is the four of wands here? Five of wands. Yeah, okay, listen. You're about to have options, or you already have options. Stop wasting your time on something that no longer serves you, because at the end of the day, you know you want this four of wands. You want to be married. You want... Um, Somebody who is your equal. Somebody that loves you just as fucking much as you love them. Okay? You want somebody that's going to fight for you. Okay? Stop wasting your time on this other person. Spirit, tell me about the strength card. Why is the strength card here? Because right now this, other, this person is dating other people. Seven of Cups. Yeah, y'all are going to have options. Spirit, tell me about this Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? Four of Cups and a World card. Yeah, it's time for you to hold back from this person. You got to pull your energy back because with the World card, you have some amazing things that's about to take place in your life, like a new relationship. Um new career opportunities, traveling places you never traveled before. Some of y'all might even have a baby. So what is the final likely outcome for Libras? Eight of Swords. Y'all are all in your head overthinking. You feel like you can't get this person off your mind. So tell me about the Eight of Swords. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Queen of Swords, this is y'all energy lesson. It's time for y'all to see the fucking truth about something, okay? It is time for y'all to start thinking with y'all head and not y'all heart because y'all heart got you fucked up right now and making dumb decisions. Get out of your fucking head and start thinking logically, okay? Don't block your blessings because you stuck on somebody that is not going to give you what you want. That is crazy to me. 
If something is meant to be like that will of fortune, if it's meant to be, it will be. Sometimes y'all be manifesting people and y'all be like, why my manifestation? Because like, that's not for you. God is trying to send you somebody else. Your spirit team is sending you somebody else. Just because you manifest somebody does not always mean that that is the person that is meant for you. Spirit, tell me about the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Page of Pentacles. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. So this is what some of y'all could do with this week. Okay, so listen. If you're really in your feelings and you're like down and depressed, some of y'all can benefit from learning a new trade, going to school, learning, learning some type of new school that's going to make you a lot of money in the long run. Like, when I'm sad, I just like to make money. Money always make me happy because, yeah, I'm not sitting around crying over somebody dusty as sun. Like, I will make myself so busy. Because what better way to show a person you don't give a fuck than, like, really glowing up on their ass, getting your money up, looking good. Like, what? I'm not sitting around doing all that boo-hoo crying. I'm not doing that shit. So y'all need to figure out something and focus on your career. And I feel like for some of you, that's going to help you get o over this heartbreak. Yeah, it's going to be times this person's going to cross your mind. Yeah, it's going to be times, I don't know, you might be in a car and a song comes on. It's going to remind you of that person. That is normal. It is so normal. You can't erase memories. It is what it is. But you have to figure out when that memory come in and you feel yourself getting sad, you got to figure out how to channel back in some happiness. Spirit, give me one final message for Libra. One... The devil. Yeah, I'm telling y'all, y'all are like obsessing over this person and it's not healthy. Tell me about the devil card. Why is it? Five of cups. Y'all are sad and depressed and I get it. Go to therapy. Some of y'all need therapy. Because this obsession is real. And it's kind of really scary. And I feel like a lot of y'all are depressed and you're crying a lot. And I don't like that for y'all. I don't. Okay? Y'all gonna have to figure something out. Spirit, tell me about the five of cups. Some of y'all are drinking a lot. Tell me about the five of cups. <clears throat> King of swords and the ten of cups. This is your energy. You have the ability to get to this ten of cups. But the king of swords is somebody who thinks with their head and not their heart. Okay? you And I said that before because I believe you got the queen of swords here. So that's double confirmation that you have got to start thinking logically. Get out of your fucking feelings. If working, going to school, if that don't help, go to therapy. That's like literally the only thing I can tell you. But right now, even um, you just feel like you're in a mental prison and you can't get this person out of your mind. So you're going to have to figure out some sort of technique to of how you can move on from this person because this is really an unhealthy attachment that you have to them you feel codependent and they ain't even trying to make this shit work so anywho that's what i got for you libra lord that was like virgo and libra y'all freedom was a little deep all right somebody right here. who's next scorpio i hope this is a little light going on him but leo reading was good <laughs> you're welcome Scorpio, please. Thank you. Thank you. 
Y'all better give me a light reading, Scorpio, because I don't feel like having another Dr. Phil reading. So you have positive changes coming in your life, abundance, prosperity, healing, joy, happiness, just everything good you could think of is coming towards you because it's like y'all been going through it. Y'all have been sad lately. Either y'all are mourning the loss of a loved one, a separation, a divorce, a breakup. I don't fucking know, but it's something that you're mourning. And I feel like you were dealing with someone that you know is your soulmate. Like, y'all are soulmates, and y'all have very intense sexual chemistry. Some of y'all could be dealing with another Scorpio, a Leo, a Libra, or a Gemini. Um, but I feel like for some of you, this person had you in a third-party situation. That may not be everybody's situation. I don't know. But with this Justice card here, I feel like this person want to make things right between you two. Spirit, tell me about the Sun card. Why is the Sun card here? nine of wands yeah even if you are sad and you went through hell and back in love don't give up on love because the nine of wands is somebody who's very resilient and then you have the sun card here so it's like um with, with the, the glow roller thing every day the sun don't shine that's why i love tomorrow because tomorrow that fucking sun is gonna come back out and shine on your ass and yeah you got good things coming in Sometimes a day could really be full of just sunshine and rainbows, and you deserve that. Spirit, tell me about the Five of Cups. Why is the Five of Cups here? Will of Fortune. Yeah, the will is turning in your favor. You have good luck coming in. Just be patient. Just continue to heal your heart. Spirit, tell me about the Lover's card. Why is the Lover's card here? Tell me about the Lover's card. Six of Cups in reverse. Okay, so listen. Remember when I said this person is definitely your soulmate. They feel like you're their soulmate. And with the Six of Cups in reverse clarifying it, to me, this means that if this person was dealing with like their baby mother or baby father and they felt like they couldn't leave because they needed to stay because of the kids, they're leaving. They, they like fuck them kids. Like they're not really saying fuck their kids, but bitch, they're leaving. Yeah, they're leaving. Because they just felt like they ain't going to get this type of love or the intensity from anywhere else. <laughs> Spirit, tell me about the justice card. Why is the justice card here? Three of cups in reverse. Yeah, somebody's leaving a third party. Yep, buddy. Tell me about the nine of wands. Why is the nine of wands here? Ten of swords. Yeah, somebody is ending something with someone that they've been for been with for years. I don't mean like a few months. No, I mean some years invested. Spirit, tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. What I just say? Somebody is leaving a baby mother or a wife, or you could reverse the genders to come be with you because they really love you. They're telling you to be patient. Your spirit team is telling you it's going to happen in divine time and stop acting them to return this man to you single or this woman to you is going to happen. They tired of hearing, they heard you the first time. You don't got to keep asking for it. Spirit, tell me about the six of cups in reverse. Seven of swords. Hmm, tell me about the seven of swords. Why is the seven of Page of swords. I mean, I'm sorry, knight of swords. 
y'all don't trust them or y'all don't trust that they're going to really leave this person and maybe y'all been arguing about this like i don't fucking want to be your little side piece like i'm not doing this shit and they tell you just shut the fuck up like just believe in me spirit tell me about the three of cups in reverse five of ones they out they gonna fight for you they're not gonna let you go <clears throat> Tell me about the whoop, seven of cups in reverse. Yeah, they're not confused anymore. I don't. I feel like they don't even want to weigh their options. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for Scorpios? Page of Swords in reverse. Oh, this person is stalking the fuck out of y'all though, because they're afraid that even you dating other people due to their situation, um, or because they haven't offered you anything solid just yet. They want to know what you got going on at all times. Okay, so. Yeah, they, they stalk in you in ways you probably don't even know. Spirit, tell me about the page of swords in reverse. Tell me about the pages. Three of swords. Yeah, they're going through some heartbreak right now. Tell me about the three of swords. God damn it. Hold on, y'all. Too many cards. Tell me about the three of swords. Ten of wands in reverse. They're not letting you go. They want you to be patient with them. Spirit, give me a, one final message for Scorpio. Seven of Wands in reverse. If you have them blocked, they want you to unblock them. They want, they need the lines of communication to open back up between the two of you. Spirit, tell me about the Seven of Wands in reverse. Six of Pentacles. They're going to invest in this, I'm telling you. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Right? Yes, I'm telling you, they believe in somebody, y'all. Anywho, that's what I have for y'all, Scorpios. Somebody write Sagittarius. We are almost done. What we got? Yeah, we're almost done. Somebody write Sagittarius. Can we read you, Virgo? No, I'm not reading no fucking Virgo. Virgo reading was so deep. You do cat. Oh, no. I, mm, I thought she was telling me I'd be on here cap. And I was ready to say, excuse me, sir. But no, Capricorn is next. I'm ready to do Sagittarius and then Capricorn is next. Um, Girl, I'm not about to uh, give you no synopsis of Virgo. You gonna, you better watch it on YouTube. Y'all are crazy. You're welcome. Get us Sag right, mamas. I try, I try, but you know how you Sagittarius are. People think y'all are terrorists. I need to hear it, Ma, when you posting it after you dying. Child, well, you should have been on here. I don't know. This is how you think. You better ask my in these comments to give you a little synopsis. <clears throat> don't do us like that. You love her. Of course I love fire signs. I'm a fire sign. I'm telling you what people be saying about y'all. <sighs> my two-year-old is a bitch, and I'm fighting for my life every day. <laughs> see what I mean? You see how the car just smacked me in my face? Y'all ain't shit. It's like, let me not talk about my fellow fire signs. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? Would you? Two more cards for Sagittarius. Two more cards for Sagittarius. Two more cards for Sagittarius. One more card for Sagittarius. Okay. Okay. I 
like that. I think Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius so far got good reads. At least I think that's pretty good. But yeah. Fire signs is winning today. I love that for us. Um, okay. <clears throat> Knight of Pentacles. Okay, listen. There is somebody that is about to come in and, um, or you may already know this person. I don't know. You may have two people. I don't know. But there is somebody that's going to, that looks at you as marriage material, but they're like, let's just take it slow. Like, I, I don't want to rush it. Let's just really take this slow because I want to build with you. Um, Ten of Wands. The thing is, this is your energy, Sagittarius energy. The thing is, some of y'all are carrying too much baggage. And that is why you do need to take it slow. Because it's like, you can't possibly think you're about to get into a stable, solid relationship and you coming with all this fucking baggage. Not saying that, I mean, a lot of people come with something, but y'all carrying too fucking much. And it's starting to be an overload, too much of a burden. So you need to release that because you have new love coming in. You have new love coming in. Um, this is going to be fun, passionate, exciting. It's going to start off fast, but I'm telling you to take it slow. You're going to try to make it rush it because you're a fire sign. But I'm telling you to take it slow. Even though I think the person's going to tell you to take it slow. They're just going to move slow. I don't know. Then you got the Empress. Um, some of y'all are going to start a family with this person. But y'all gonna be like very abundant, like very abundant. Um, Empress represents fertility. Not only does she birth baby, but she births businesses. So some of y'all may be ready to get in y'all creative bag and y'all may start a new business. Um, but I do feel like y'all gonna be in a relationship. There's not a doubt in my mind. Some of y'all may even get engaged or married. Spirit, tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of... Bitch. Two of cups. Oh, y'all got real love. This is real love. I'm searching for a real love. Someone to set my heart free. Yeah. This person gonna set your heart free, baby. Listen. I already told you they look at you as marriage material. Somebody gonna be a wife or a husband. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. Okay, I'm telling you. <clears throat> this person, even if they do take it slow, they still feel like nobody compares to you. They feel like you bring just as much to the table as they do. Okay, some of y'all could be dealing with somebody with a bald head. Mm. <sighs> or you might meet a new man with a bald head. I don't know. Spirit, tell me about the Ten of Wands. Why is this Ten of Wands? Page of Cups. Yes, somebody is crushing on you. Somebody may send y'all a message. Spirit, tell me about the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Not why my man balled in right now. <laughs> Damn, hold up. Spirit, tell me about the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Guys, last vote if y'all want her to come back on live, baby. You're going to, you're going to lose that vote because I'm waiting on my ride right now because I got things to do today. Spirit, tell me about the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Two of Wands in reverse. I feel like you're going to be clear on what you want. Tell me about... If y'all have two people, I feel like you don't want to juggle no more. Or it could be vice versa. Tell me about the Two of Wands in reverse. Emperor in reverse. Hmm. Y'all may be letting somebody go. But somebody feels like they don't have control over something right now. Somebody could be going through daddy issues. Like, this is the thing. If you keep meeting these people and you getting in these situations and you wonder why they're not lasting, it's because you have some unresolved daddy issues, whether you are a man or a woman. And that shit needs to be resolved because whether you know it or not, it's affecting your relationships. It's truly affecting your relationships. And you need to know that. So either you need to mend something with your dad or you need to go to therapy and resolve some daddy issues that you may have. Because I'm telling you, it's affecting how you relate to people. Spirit, tell me about the Empress. Because you have the Empress here and then the Emperor in reverse. That's not an even playing field right now. 
Tell me about the Empress. Why is the Empress here? King of Pentacles. See, yeah, y'all going from the knight to the king, which is an awesome thing. Because I, I feel like y'all will start working on yourself. Y'all going to have a dope-ass relationship. And it's going to be somebody like with somebody that you could truly build with, like build an empire with. But then y'all also love each other. And then the sex is good. And everything about this, I feel like it's going to be good. Tell me about the two of cups. Why is the two of cups? Bitch, look how he tugging her down. Like, listen, this is, once again, y'all dealing with somebody that's bald-headed. Or y'all bald-headed, I don't know. Listen, listen, okay? This person, y'all gonna have insane sexual chemistry with this person, okay? Even though the devil card not here, I think y'all gonna be addicted to them and they're gonna be addicted to you. This person ain't letting you go. So you ain't even got to worry about that. This person knows that you're their soulmate. You mean the world to them. Like literally mean the world to them. Some of you may start a long distance relationship. Some of you may meet this person while traveling. Or y'all may travel a lot when you meet um, with this person. When you meet them. Because they may travel a lot. Spirit, tell me about the uh, Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Moon in reverse and the six of cups. Cat's out the bag. This person, they're going to reveal their feelings for you. If you already met them, they're going to reveal their feelings for you. Some of you could have dated this person many years ago during, during your childhood. Um, for some of you, you could have a past life connection with this person. But once again, they feel a very strong attachment to you. And they just can't. It's like they can't explain it. Tell me about the emperor in reverse. I'm so mother. I'm so fucking psychic. What I just say? I say even though the devil card not here, and look what just popped out the devil card. Both of y'all gonna be equally obsessed and addicted to one another. There's some different type of love. I'm telling you, this is type of love that it can't be brought. Okay. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Ten of Cups. I mean, I'm sorry, Ten of Pentacles. What did I just say? Y'all gonna build an empire and the Ten of Pentacles come out. Y'all gonna make a lot of money together. Y'all gonna have the house, the kids, the love. People gonna be jealous. I'm telling you right now, people are gonna be jealous. What sign did I say that for? This sounds identical to another sign. Can y'all please tell me? What sign was that? Was it Aries? I can't remember. I would say sun and rising. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for Sagittarius? King of Cups in reverse. Why is the King of Cups in reverse here, Spirit? Cool card. Somebody is going to be in their feelings about you, drinking about you, especially if they feel like you're moving on because they want another chance. Um, y'all could be dealing with somebody that lives in Chicago or New York. For some of you, it could be Dubai too. I don't know where I'm getting that from. Spirit, tell me about the pool card. Why is the pool card? Will of Fortune in reverse. I don't think y'all gonna give this person a chance. You let that past person go. Tell me about the Will of Fortune in reverse. Six of Wands, my favorite card. And the Queen of Swords in reverse. Um, victory and success recognition. Somebody might be a little bitter about something, but whatever. They'll get over it. Spirit, what is the... Somebody could have cussed y'all out, too. You might have cussed somebody else out. I don't fucking know. Spirit, give me one final message for Sagittarius. Two of Pentacles. Y'all gonna have two people to choose from, though. I will say that. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. But I feel like y'all know who to choose. That's too many cards. So there's something about the Two of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. Y'all going what a love is. Point blank in a period. Y'all going what a love is. Something about the Queen of Cups. Ace of Swords. Somebody might want to have a conversation with you within the next week, maybe two. Um, this could be the new lover. I don't know. Aces represents new beginnings. Something about 
about the city is significant for some of y'all. Somewhere we're like tall buildings. Like I said, New York, Chicago, maybe even Philly I'm getting. Anywho, that's what I have for y'all. Sagittarius. Somebody write Capricorn. That was a great reason. thing. You're welcome. Thank you, Sylvia, for buying a badge. I really appreciate you. That card just tried to pop out. Some of y'all ended something with somebody. But they ended it with you. Let's see. All right, let's get started. Sir, what messages do you have for Capricorns? What do Capricorns need to know? Give me three more cards. What messages do you have? Give me one more card. What messages do you have for Capricorn? Hmm. Can you go? What the fuck? Hey, y'all, listen. Tower in reverse. Um. Somebody is resisting letting a relationship go, whether this is y'all or them. Actually, tower is y'all energy. So it's like y'all may be the ones resisting to let something go. But with the six of cups in reverse, I just feel like something has ran its course. Because with the king of wands in reverse, king of wands is somebody who... When the King of Wands is in reverse, that's somebody that is not faithful. King of Wands in the reverse is just a hoe. You know, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. So, I don't know. That might be y'all or that might be your person. But with the Five of Pentacles here, you feel like somebody left you out in the cold. You feel rejected by somebody. Um, some of y'all could possibly be going through something like some financial hardship, possibly. Tell me about the tower in reverse. What? Queen of Cups. Yeah, there's somebody that y'all really love that you don't want it to be over with. Because you love how nurturing, caring they are. You love the way that they love you. Spirit, tell me about the Six of Cups in reverse. Star in reverse. Okay, I feel like it's getting to the point where with this star in reverse, you're giving up hope on something. It's like at one point you were so hopeful, like, okay, this could work out. Um, this is my person. But with the star in reverse, it's like, maybe I don't see a future with them. 
Maybe they not my person. Spirits, tell me about the King of Wands in reverse. Why is the King of Wands in reverse here? Five of Swords. Yeah, somebody tends to sabotage a lot. Maybe you and this person argue a lot. There's a lot of cheating that takes place in this connection. Spirit, and it's like, I don't know. It's like the person wants you to chase them. Like, I would be like, bitch, my shoes cost too much for me to be fucking chasing any fucking body. Tell your fucking mother, Jason, because I'm not chasing you. So I don't say that. Y'all don't got to be rude like me. <sighs> Spirit, tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Queen of Swords. Yeah, I feel like there's somebody that y'all got to set boundaries with. Or maybe they set boundaries with you. I don't know. <laughs> okay, if you are a man, somebody could have bled your pockets dry and then went on. <laughs> Sorry, that's not funny. And then, like, went on a merry little way. Like, all right, bye, deuces. I don't know. That's specific to somebody. I don't know. And it's like, and if that is your story, it's like that person is setting boundaries with you now. Now, if that's not your story, you need to set boundaries with somebody. Like, say if somebody always call and ask you for money or a favor you got to learn to say no and you got to understand that no is a complete sentence it does not require explanation spirit tell me about the queen of cups why is the queen of cups here strength card tell me about the shrimp card spirit why is the shrimp card here queen of wands hmm You may find the strength to move on to someone else. And this is Queen of Wands energy. Queen of Wands is someone who is very abundant. Um, yeah, sexual, loyal, spiritual, ambitious, spontaneous, could be a single mother. Mm hmm Somebody may have blue eyes. I don't know. They could be black or Spanish. Very curvy. Spirit, tell me about the star in reverse. Why is the star in reverse here? Tell me about the... Oh, there's too many cards. Spirit, clarify the star in reverse. Full three of pentacles and nine of swords. Okay, here's the thing. Y'all are stressed out. Like, y'all, I don't know. It's like y'all not really sleeping at night. Like, this situation with this person is kind of stressing y'all out. Because it's like, on one hand, you want to build with them. But like I said, it's like third parties in the mix. Um, and then on another hand, it's just like, What's the point? Like, could this even work? Um, and for others, I'm getting so many fucking storylines, Capricorn. Y'all are messy. <laughs> I'm, this reading is messy. For others of you, you may want to keep, like, okay, say if you're already dealing with somebody, but it may be somebody else that you want, and you want them to agree to that. Like, like you want to keep both of them. Basically, you, you want your cake and eat it, too. Spirit, tell me about the five of swords. Why is the five of swords here? That's too many cards. Spirit, tell me about the five of swords. Why is the five of swords here? Five of wands. Yeah, it's like you and somebody are always in conflict. Y'all always arguing about something. You may feel like you always got to compete for their time, their love, their affection, or they may feel that way about you. But somebody is out here dating multiple people. I don't know. That could be you. That could be them. I don't fucking know. Spirit, tell me about the Queen of Swords. Why is the Queen of Swords here? Ten of Pentacles. At the end of the day, whether you're the one doing wrong or they're the one doing wrong, I don't know. You really want someone that you can come home to every night. You want someone that you can make money with. You want someone that makes you happy that understands you that understands your lifestyle your work ethic like that's what you want 
Spirit, tell me about this Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Knight of Cups in reverse. Hmm. Tell me about the Knight of Cups in reverse. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Four of Wands in reverse. Yeah, it's like, it's somebody that you don't trust. You feel like they're untrustworthy. But once again, you're tired of being single. You're tired of being single, but it's like there is somebody that you thought you were going to have forever with. You thought that you were going to marry, but it maybe didn't work out that way. Maybe y'all were living together and maybe somebody moved out the home. I don't know, but I don't know that that may not be your person right now. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for Capricorn? Ace of Pentacles, new beginnings. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, you want to invest in somebody and you want somebody to invest in you. Spirit, tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Why? Seven of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Cups in reverse. You're tired of, I feel like, okay, you're tired of weighing your options. Because doing that, it's like, okay, you dating this person, you dating that person, but it's like you're not getting to that Ten of Cups. It's like you keep dating these people, but it's not going anywhere. Tell me about the Ten of Cups in reverse. Why is the Ten of Cups in reverse? Death in reverse. So it's like, okay, maybe for some of you, it's like you're dating people, but they're just like a seat filler. Like, because with this death in reverse, maybe you still, like I said, I feel like you're torn. You're still holding out hope for somebody from the past, but at the same time, it's like, you know, you need to move on. So in a sense, it's like you may be sabotaging these relationships. So y'all may have some healing to do. Tell me about the death in reverse. And bring the Ace of Wands. Once again, y'all want marriage. Y'all want a family. You want somebody you can build with. And with the Ace of Wands, God is sending you that. You have new love coming in. It's up to you if you're going to do right by this lover. Okay? It's up to you. God is sending you somebody that is going to be a lot of fun. Very spontaneous. Very um, creative passionate like it's gonna be a lot of passion between you and this person but it's just are you ready for it you gotta ask yourself i don't tell you what what your spirit team gonna send you but just because god sent you something you may not be ready for it so if you know this is what you want then this is the time you need to be getting ready for it because don't go setting fires in people's heart and you just going what leave it there and don't do nothing with it because that's not fair so if you're not ready to be in a committed relationship, then don't have somebody believing that you want a committed relationship, if that makes sense. Because all these cards is saying you want a relationship, you want marriage, you want to settle down, you want this, you want that. But you be sabotaging. Spirit, talking about the Ace of Wands and the Emperor. Four of Cups. Yeah, y'all need to take some time and meditate. Really meditate on your love life, what you want, and do some healing. So give me one final message for Capricorn. One final message for Capricorn. Eight of Cups and a Moon in Reverse. It is time for you to walk away from something that you once loved and once um, was passionate about because it's holding you back from true love. And maybe you're about to find out the truth about something with them. I don't know. Spirit, tell me about the Eight of Cups and a Moon in Reverse. Judgment in reverse. Yeah, okay. This person may want your forgiveness, but I don't see them changing. Tell me about the judgment in reverse. Eight of Wands. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. You may have a conversation with someone within the next eight to ten days. Um, if somebody did you wrong, I feel like they're going to receive karma or if you were the one that did wrong, you may receive the karma. And I feel like it's going to come in fast. Now, for some of you, somebody may try to make it right between the two of you, but 
you got the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this is something you need to let go of. Some of you may be ready to travel as well. Tell me about the Justice and the Eight of Wands. Y'all, I'm tired. Two of Swords in Reverse and the King of Cups. Yeah, okay. I feel like you're going to finally get to the point where you're not indecisive anymore. You know what you want. Because the King of Cups, you, you want to love up on somebody. And you want somebody to love up on you. You want to be in a relationship. And that's all your cards keep saying about how you want to be in a relationship. But be mindful. King of Cups do tend to sabotage because King of Cups is the type of person who holds back their emotions. They hold back their feelings. They don't pour too much into people. And that has people wondering like, oh, Capricorn don't fuck with me. Capricorn don't really want me. Capricorn probably running the streets. Capricorn probably doing X, Y, and Z. When crazy enough, you probably love the fuck out of them, but you're not saying it. You're not giving them reassurance and that's ruining your relationships. So yeah, y'all, y'all gotta do better. Y'all gotta do better. Cause you can't say you want something but you're not making space for it. You're not growing. You're not healing. Um, so that's what I have for you, Capricorn. Somebody write Aquarius. Oh, my God. These readings been deep. What the fuck? And it's only been Earth sign readings that have been like this. Oh, and Libra. I do feel that way about my Capricorn. I gotta stay far away from fucking earth signs. Y'all are crazy. You're welcome. <laughs> not I, I. <clears throat> y'all do not know what y'all want. Thank you, Brie, for buying another badge. I really appreciate you. Y'all are so crazy. <laughs> Dang, y'all, it will be good. What do you mean it better be good? It is going to be good, girl. There goes my shot. Hell, if I'm not mistaken, it's a Capricorn, which means if that breeding resonated, that man does not know what he want, y'all. Mm -mm, I, I. The cards say no ma'am. do you have for Aquarius? What do Aquarius need in that one? What messages do you have for... Give me three more cards for Aquarius. Three more cards. Two more cards for Aquarius. Two more. One more card for Aquarius. One more card for Aquarius. Damn. I think I'm going to just take them. Fuck it. Okay, y'all. Somebody is doing a lot of contemplating. Somebody wants to say something to you so badly, but 
they are trying to find the words to say it to you. They are wondering, should I say it or should I just let it be a missed opportunity? Um, they're doing a lot of contemplating right now. King of Pentacles in reverse. Some of y'all could be doing, dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is someone, um, and because it's in reverse, this person, mm, mm, shit, I can't get my words out. This person may not be as stable as you think they are or as they pretend to be. This person could have uh, finance, pro finance problems. This person could even be in the street. They could have a gambling problem. I don't know. They got some shit going on I don't like. But with the death in reverse, it's like they don't want something to be over between you two. And that's why it's like they're in their head doing a lot of contemplating, wondering, like, should I try again or should I just let this be a missed opportunity? Then you have the nine of cups. So either way, whether it's this person or not, you have some sort of wish fulfillment coming in. Okay? Um, you already get to the point where you're just like, oh, I can breathe again. Like, God, I've been through so much. Thank you. I feel Finally see the light at the end of the tunnel. Good things are finally coming in. My self-esteem is starting to boost. Like, yes. Um, some of y'all may have been doing yoga lately to try to channel, um, you know, some more positive energy. Three of Swords, it's like... It's like... Yeah, because it's like some of y'all were dealing with some sort of heartbreak. Either somebody had you in a third-party situation or they did something to break your heart. I don't know. They could have said something to you. I don't know what the fuck they did. Spirit, tell me about the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? Too many cards. Hold on, y'all. Spirit, clarify the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? Knight of Cups. Yeah, it's like, okay, here's the thing. This person may come in with a love offer, but to me, the Knight of Cups is very fickle. Um, Knight of Cups, yeah, they may come in, love bomb you, but as fast as they come in, as fast as they may leave back out. Um, Knight of Cups. For some of you, this person could be younger than you. That's exactly how I feel. A lot of shadow work done, but I'm mentally healthy. Spirit, tell me about the King of Pentacles in reverse. Why is the King of Pentacles in reverse here? Two of Cups. This person genuinely loves you, but I just feel like they're not stable. And you gotta ask yourself, do you really want to settle down with somebody that's not stable? Like, are you really willing to go through some shit with them? Like, you gotta ask yourself, because I'm telling you this person is not stable. Spirit, tell me about the death in reverse. Why is the death in reverse here? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they want a new beginning with you. They definitely want a new beginning with you. They just like, can we leave the past in the past and start brand new? And when the death and the Ace of Pentacles come out together, that represents transformation. So they may be ready to change. I don't fucking know. Wait till I clarify that, Knight of Cups. Spirit, tell me about the Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Ugh. Chariot card. Yeah, there's ready to be forward movement. I told you, you're ready to get a wish fulfillment. Um, some of y'all can live at a distance, but like a driving distance. Somebody can live in New York. Um, or Las Vegas. Spirit, tell me about the three of swords. Why is the three of swords here? Nine of Pentacles. You already have options. You already have a glow up. You already feel so abundant. Somebody sees you as marriage material, though. Spirit, tell me about the Knight of Cups. What is it? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this is, listen. Yeah, this person may want to build with you, but I still feel like they have somebody else in their energy. And I don't give a fuck how much they love you. I feel like they have somebody else in their energy. Now, for some of you, you could um, work with this person as well. Spirit, tell me about the Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here? Full card. They want a new beginning. They definitely want a new beginning. Some of y'all can have a little white dog. I don't know. But they want a new beginning with y'all. Some of y'all could be into like spell work, tarot, astrology or something like that. It could be a witch or something in the esoteric world. 
Um, and once again, I feel like somebody lives in New York. Um, Spirit, tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Three of Cups, they want to reunite with you. They miss you. They miss your friendship. But it's a third party in this mix, y'all. Even though they love you, it's a third party. Spirit, tell me about the chariot card. Nine of Swords in reverse. Y'all already started saying 999. Nine, nine. I feel like y'all gonna get to the point where you're letting go, like, you don't have no expectations from this person because you're probably starting to see them for who the fuck they are and you're ready to start dating. You're ready to start having options. So at this point, it's like, it is what it is. You're letting go of worry. You're letting go of stress. Like, what, whatever happens is going to fucking happen. But you do need to protect your heart. Spirit, tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Three of Wands in reverse. Okay, I feel like God is delaying something when it comes to you and this person. God wants you to weigh your options. They don't want you just to just lock in with this person when they come back. It's, this is the time you need to be single and really out here dating. Because if you lock in with them too fast, I feel like as fast as they come in, as fast as they are, it's going to lead back out. And that's going to cause you to get your heart broken again. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for Aquarius? Final likely outcome. Page of Swords. They're keeping tabs on you. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Hmm? To, um, okay. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Why is the Page of Swords here? Strength card. Y'all know I'm fine in strength to... Let me see before I hold up. Tell me about the strength card. I don't want to see too soon. Tell me about the strength card. King of Swords, that's y'all energy. Oh, yeah. Y'all gonna find the strength to think with your head and not your heart. Y'all gonna find the strength to see the, the truth about this person. Y'all going to find the strength to cut off what no longer serves you. Tell me about the King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here? Butterflies may be significant. Blue or black butterflies. Some of y'all got a passed on loved one. Probably specifically a father or uncle that's watching over you. Tell me about the King of Swords. And I just got a chill in my body when I said that. Ace of Cups, yeah, cut that ass off. You got new love coming in. Tell me about the Ace of Cups. Temperance in reverse. Tell me about the Temperance in reverse. Knight of Swords. Yeah, they're still going to come in and try. They're going to tell you be patient with them, but I don't see them trying to change. I feel like they're resisting to change. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. King of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Ace of Swords. Yeah, you're going to have a conversation with this person within the next week or so, if not sooner. Um, you're going to gain some clarity about something. But with this Queen of Pentacles here, y'all need to understand, like, you're, you are the shit. Like, don't be chasing after them. Like, fuck them. Like, seriously. Continue to heal. And like I said, date. Three, give me one final message for Aquarius. Eight of Cups, let it go. Walk away from them. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Devil in reverse, release that that uh, bondage that they that you got that they have over you. Tell me about that Devil in reverse. King of Cups in reverse. Yes, they are cheater, and they may have a drinking problem, and they lie. Let this person go. Let him go. Let him go. Go ahead and use somebody else. You got new love coming in. Let that go. Let that go. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't, I don't like nothing about it. Let it go. Finally, the last one. Um, somebody write a uh, Pisces.
Sorry, y'all. But we're back. Hey, Shira. Somebody write Pisces, please. Hey, Marie. Y'all knew I was not about to leave y'all hanging. What messages do you have for Pisces? What do Pisces need to know? What messages? All about doing is sleeping shorty pregnancy in your 30s is go. <laughs> Thank you, Marie, for buying the badge. I really appreciate you. Spirit, give me, give me three more cards for Pisces. Three more cards for Pisces. Give me three more. Two more cards for Pisces. One more card for Pisces. <sighs> okay. All right, y'all. Some, if somebody ghosted you, walked away from you, y'all broke up, whatever the case may be, they're coming back. They feel like it's unfinished business. Higher fence. They feel like you two share the same morals and values. They feel that you are someone um, who they would love to settle down with. Um... Six of Wands, victory and success, recognition. Some of y'all may go viral. Some of y'all gonna get some recognition from something you're doing career-wise or just from how good you look, I don't know. Um, but somebody may start showing up more in a relationship. But I also feel like some of y'all have new, well, not I feel like you do have new love coming in. And I feel like this new lover is gonna place you on a pedestal because you have the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is new love. So many of you do have new love coming in. For others of you, you and this person are going to figure out how to reignite the flame with one another. Spirit, tell me about the Eight of Cups in reverse. Why is the Eight of Cups in reverse? Damn, that's too many cards. Hold on, y'all. Spirit, tell me about the Eight of Cups in reverse. Why is the Eight of Cups in reverse here? Three of Wands and a Fool card. Y'all actually been manifesting for them to come back. Y'all been manifesting a new beginning with them and your manifestation about to come in because they're coming back. And we already go through retrograde soon, so you know retrograde bring X's back. So tell me about the higher fan. Why is the higher fan here? 801, some of you may hear from them within the next eight to 10 days. Um, they may have to travel towards you if they live at a distance from you. If you're waiting on some sort of news that's coming in. Some of y'all, some of online is significant. Some of y'all are really meant to start some sort of online business. Spirit, tell me about the six of wands. Why is the six of wands here? To a cop. Yeah, y'all got a relationship coming in. A stable relationship with a lot of love and respect. Tell me about the ace of wands. Clarify the Ace of Wands, Spirit. Damn. Spirit, tell me about the Ace of Wands. Clarify the Ace of Wands, Spirit. Will of Fortune. Yeah, you're going to meet this new lover when you least expect it. It's going to be in, like, I don't know, like, it's going to be like a faded encounter. Um... Maybe you want to be somewhere you ain't got no business being. I don't know. You want to meet them. Maybe at a gas station. Why the fuck do I just say a gas station? I don't know. Maybe you might meet them at a gas station. I don't fucking know. Giving soulmate energy. So there's something about the fool and the three of wands. Three of pentacles in reverse. Somebody may be letting go of a third party. So there's something about the eight of wands. Some of y'all might end up uh, off as romance. King of Swords, some of y'all may be dealing with a Gemini Libra Aquarius. This is somebody that is very cold and detached, though. This is somebody that's always in and out. This could be somebody that always run back and forth to their baby mother. I don't know. Spirit, tell me about the Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here? That hurt. Page of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. 
Somebody wants to apologize to you. Some of y'all have two people. Because you got the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles here. So some of y'all have two people. This King of Pentacles is the one that really genuinely loves you. I mean, I don't know. Both of them love you, honestly. But in my opinion, the King of Pentacles would be a better option. That's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Spirit, tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this King of Pentacles is your divine counterpart. This person is probably very successful, a workaholic, um, a provider, very generous, will settle down. It's hard to get the King of Swords to settle down, y'all. He might make some babies, but that bitch probably ain't going to marry you. Like, it got to make sense for... Why did I just think my eye? Maybe that's confirmation saying like, yeah, King of Swords, mm-mm. But no, it got to make sense in order for the King of Swords to marry you. So tell me about this King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Five of Pentacles in reverse. Yes, they want another chance at this. They, they want another chance. <laughs> tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. He took some beautiful pictures. Thank you. Four ones. This could possibly be the person you marry. And this could be a new lover. Who knows? This And like, if this is not somebody that wants another chance, this could be somebody that like just came out of some sort of financial hardship. Now they're getting back on their feet and they're ready to pursue love in their life again. Spirit, what is the final likely outcome for Pisces? Final likely outcome for Pisces. Ten of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Damn. Ten, ten. Y'all gonna have it all. But just be patient because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight in the deck. So it's just like, let's just take it slow, but I promise you, you're gonna be the one I marry. Some of y'all could be dealing with a dread head. They could have dreads, or it could be someone with like a haircut. <sighs> Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, yeah, and the Ten of Cups. Heavy Earth energy, the Devil. Heavy Capricorn energy. Hmm. Tell me about this Devil card. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay. When you start dating this person and things are going good, the Devil is gonna test you, cause somebody gonna come in. And going to test you. And it's telling you don't test them waters. Because you're going to fuck up a good thing. Don't test those waters. Spirit, tell me about the devil and the ace of pentacles in reverse. Why is the ace of pentacles in reverse here? Tell me about the ace of pentacles in reverse. Clarify the ace of pentacles in reverse. King of wands. Y'all got a lot of energy in this reading. What the fuck? Tell me about the king of wands. Y'all got options. Oh, shit, I ain't realize all these fell. King of Wands is clarified by the Five of Swords. Mm. This is somebody who is, yeah, look. This is going to be the person that's going to come in and try to sabotage that relationship if you allow it. Don't test them waters. I'm telling you right now. You're going to regret it. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Tell me about the Five of Swords. And bring me right. Yep, they're gonna try to run what you got. Let it go. Spirit, give me one final message for Pisces. King of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Wands. If you do it, and some of y'all are gonna do it, some of y'all may cheat. You're gonna lose them. You're gonna lose that other person. This is y'all warning. This is y'all warning. Tell me about the King of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Wands. Tell me about the King of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Wands death card okay some of y'all all right well some of y'all may end it with this person some of y'all may choose this lover that wants it all with you tell me about the death card why is the death card here clarify the death card why is the death card here ace of swords queen of swords queen of wands yeah, you're going to have options, but you got to set boundaries, okay? You got to cut off what no longer serves you, and you're going to gain clarity about something within the next week or so. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. Tell 
Seven of Pentacles and Nine of Cups. You have a wish fulfillment coming in. You have somebody that's coming in that wants to fulfill you, that wants to invest in you, that wants a family, that wants to love you. Don't go with somebody that you know that is not really going to go anywhere, that they don't have nothing to offer, that they're always in and out. That makes no sense. Okay? But that's what I have for you, Pisces. Oh, that's been a long day. I will talk to y'all maybe tomorrow.